when you understand so knowing is one thing but understanding is another right you might know that the commandments were placed on this earth but why were they given to us right give me deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5 read what you got first john 5 and 3 go ahead read deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 5 behold i have taught you statues he has taught us statues read on and judgments even as the lord my god commanded me that's what we are here to do we are here to teach the commandments read on that ye should do so in the land where the ye go to possess it. So wherever we go, we got to keep the commandments of God because that is true love to our Heavenly Father. Read on. Keep therefore and do them. What? Keep therefore and do them. Keep therefore and do the law, statutes, and commandments. Read on. For this is your wisdom. Anybody who wants wisdom, what does it say? For this is your wisdom. For this is our wisdom. Read on. And your understanding. And our understanding. Give me Sirach chapter 51 and 23. Read what you got. It's the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh-huh. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. Because a lot of people say they love God, but they, they say these things with their lips. If I tell my girl I love her, then I come home and I punch her in both of her eyes, you know, every day when I get up. I don't really love my girl. Say it with huh? your Exactly. Love, love is an action word, right? So read, read it again. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Read on. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Read on. And his commandments are not grievous. So what happens a lot of times is people say, you know what? I'm a sinner. I'm going to just keep sinning. You can't keep the commandments. But that's not true. Because God himself said, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments and live. Right? Now, does that say you're going to be perfect and you're not going to stumble in this life? Absolutely not. Uh, the scriptures say if any man say he's not a sinner, he's a liar and the truth ain't in him. Right? If any man say he has no sin, that is a lie. Everybody has sin. But we can't continue to be in that swing. Give me Syrac, uh, Proverbs, I think it's 24 and 7. Read what you got. God, this is the book of Syrac, chapter 51, verse 23. Uh -huh. Draw near unto me. Draw near unto me. Read on.